we complete for the NC campus. So let's start with the NC campus inside introduction. So, okay, why we introduce the campus inside? Okay, as you know, in traditional network management system, okay, we will use SNMP to manage the devices. Okay, SNMP actually there's one issue is, uh, it need to perform minutes level network data collection. It means that SNMP only collect data for a period of time. Okay, for example, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, okay, based on your configuration. And in this case, we are not able to achieve real-time monitoring. Okay, so this is one of the issues that we face. And by using SNMP, okay, we're actually lacking the insight in our to, into our user experience. Basically, in SNMP, we are not able to trace, okay, for example, we're not able to trace the protocol inside the network, okay? So if inside the network, there's some error, okay, occur inside the protocol layer, our management system actually not able to detect it. So these are some of the disadvantages for traditional network management. And hence, it, we are not able to identify potential faults. And if we want to find the faults, we need someone experienced or an experienced engineer to be on site to check the whole network. Okay, so this is the disadvantages of traditional network. So in our case here, we introduce our NC campus inside. So basically, our NC campus inside will use AI, okay, AI to provide intelligent O and M and center on user experience. So basically, what happened here is instead of SNMP, now we use a technology we call it as telemetry. So this telemetry will able to collect all the data information. For example, the traffic information, the traffic uh, for application. Okay, maybe the wireless, okay, wireless signal, okay, experience. Okay, all this information will be collect by our NC campus in real time. Okay, in real time. So this is the main benefit from our campus inside. We can monitor and everything in real time. Okay, and beside this, in our NC campus inside, okay, we, we, you are able to experience visualization. So basically here, it means that, for example, just now I say that in SNMP, we cannot trace the protocol, right? But in NC campus inside, now we are able to trace all the protocol. Okay, for example, maybe a customer using DHCP, okay, but he faced some issue. Maybe the user doesn't get any IP. So in, in this case, our campus inside will able to detect where is the error, and then it will display it in the GUI. Okay, it will display all the handshake process. If you know about DHCP, DHCP will have their handshake process. So it will show you in between the handshake process, where is the issue, okay? Maybe there are something, the firewall blocking or anything. So everything will be displayed in GUI. So in this case, you don't need to go troubleshooting and log into the device one by one. You can just see everything inside the GUI interfaces. Okay. So from this experience visualization, we are able to identify the root cause and locate the potential faults. Okay. And beside this, we are able to perform network optimization and self-healing using Campus Insight itself. Okay, so these are the main benefit for our NC campus inside. Okay, so here we will go into more details. So basically for real-time experience visualization. Okay. In these features, okay, we are able to view all network data in each area means that by wire or wireless network, you are able to know Okay, like which area we have which user, for example, in network network A. Okay, switch A, we have user one, user two, and maybe we have another user. Okay. Maybe we have our access point here. Okay, and then we have a user connect using SSID. Okay, so at here it will show maybe if you connect using SSID one, SSID two. So all this information will be very detailed. Show. Okay, inside our campus inside. And again, each user, okay. In our campus inside, it will, it will able to view all the information of each user. It will show you who is connecting 
when is it connected and which AP it is connected and the experience or any issue they face. So everything will be record and display in our campus inside. And beside this, okay, we are in our campus inside, we are able to manage each application. Okay, for example, if there's some application ha having a, having a, a poor quality performance, so our NC campus inside will be able to detect it and display it and also help you to optimize, okay, optimize the network to solve this issue. So this is the first features. The second features is the minutes level fault locating. So basically, our campus inside will proactively uh, scan the network and detect the issue. Okay. So by using AI rhythm, right? We, the, and then this AI actually is trained in our Huawei. So he are able to detect up to 200,000 terminals fault. Okay. So, and then another benefit of this feature is we are able to fault locate. Okay. We are able to locate the fault within minutes. Okay. So as I mentioned before, as you can see, you can view all the protocols. You can trace all the protocols, most of the protocols. Okay. And then it will display in GUI. So from the GUI, you can easily detect the faults within minutes. And then besides our campus inside, we also use historical data. And then to analyze the historical data using the AI to predict, okay, predict any faults that will occur in future. So it will analyze the network, it will predict, and then it will give, it will show you some alarm or anything. It will tell you that, okay, maybe you need to do this, you need to do that. Okay, to prevent in future any fault will occur. Okay, so this is the second feature. So the third feature that we have here is the intelligent network optimization. So the benefit of this is in our campus inside, you can simulate the feedback in real time. Okay, for example, inside our wireless network, okay, there's some channel conflict. Okay, so our campus inside will automatically using the AI it will provide you the optimization suggestion, okay, based on the neighbor radio information. And then beside this, campus inside are able to predict the optimization. And also it will be able to perform AI roaming. So AI roaming is basically, if you know about wireless network, we have roaming. So the roaming is maybe we have AP1 and AP2. Okay, AP2. So when a user moving from AP1 to AP2, okay, the traffic will roam from AP1 to AP2. However, the roaming only occur when when the user okay receive a bad signal, receive a bad signal, such as may, maybe when the signal is reached until 75, negative 75 dB. Okay, then only the user will automatically Room, room to second AP. So in this case, the user experience is not so good. So by using AI roaming, okay, using AI roaming, when the okay when the user signal reach until maybe sixty or sixty five dB, our campus inside will automatically detect, detect and automatically help the user to roam from AP one to AP two. So these are the benefit for AI roaming. Okay, so. These are the three main features that we have, real-time experience, visualization, minute level fault locating, and intelligent network optimization. Okay. Okay. So next, these are just some of the advantages for the campus inside. Basically, campus inside provide network health 360, user experience 360, application assurance 360, and intelligent optimization 360. So, okay, for network health, Basically, it's just say that Campus Insight able to help you to perform health check for wireless and wireless, wireless and wired network, and also help you to diagnose any issue on wireless and wired. And the second advantage is the user experience. Basically, you can visible, we can view all the network experience from each user at every moment. Okay. So inside the GUI, you can view, for example, which user are accessing uh, which, uh, which AP, and then is the user experience good or not good. And beside this, our campus inside also help to 
provide protocol tracing for connectivity. So in case there's any issue in the protocol, it will help you to locate the faults in minute. So here, it provides protocol tra tracing and it will help you to analyze whether there's any poor QoE occur, okay? And the third advantage is application assurance. So from in Campus Insight, it will be able to detect up to 100,000, up to 1,000 application, okay? And based on this application, it will help you to optimize the uh, network quality, okay? And it will help you to remove the poor QoE issue throughout the networks, okay? And the last advantage that we have in Campus Insight is the intelligent, intelligent Optimization 360. So basically, at Campus Insight using the AI, it will automatically optimize, okay, optimize the whole network, okay? It will optimize the capacity up to 50% and also help the roaming, okay? By improving the signal strength by 5 dB by using the AI roaming, okay, AI roaming. So these are some of the benefit for Campus Insight. Okay, so next, this is the log logical architecture of Campus Insight. Basically in Campus Insight, we have the data and analysis result visualization. And then we have the data analysis engine, data analysis engine. And then we have our network devices. Okay, so in Campus Insight, okay, here, here is our Campus Insight CI. The Campus Insight, okay, will use telemetry or syslog, or you can also use SNMP to collect data information. Okay, data information to our NC campus. So after they collect this information, okay, it will start an analysis task, okay, and start to analyze the uh, data. And then after analyze all the data, it will send this data to here the data analysis result visualization. It will, set, it will display the data inside on the GUI, okay? So once you log into GUI, you are able to view the network analysis report, application analysis report, the user analysis report, or any optimization done, okay? So these are the overall architecture for Campus Insight, okay? So here we will talk about how the data is processed throughout the campus inside. Okay, so basically the procedure of processing the data is first, we will undergo subscription, second, collection, third, distribution and buffer, fourth is analysis or AI computing, and fifth is storage. Okay, so again, initially we have our device, okay, our switch, baby switch, okay. Our switch will first subscribe with our campus inside. Campus Insight. So after subscribe, okay, our Campus Insight will start to collect. Okay, it will collect the data such as the syslog data, the user log data, okay, using the telemetry. So after collect all this data, okay, collect all the data, okay, our Campus Insight will start to distribute. Okay, we will distribute the data using Kafka. Okay, Kafka is one of the services which used for distribution of all the data. Okay, so the, this Kafka will distribute all the data into different, okay, different analysis services, okay. So this Spark, okay, Spark or AI algorithm is used to analyze all this data. So after, after our Kafka distribute all this data in our system, okay, it will start to analyze, okay, it will start to analyze everything. And then after it analyze the data, it will store it Okay, store it inside our database. Okay, store it inside our database. So now everything is stored inside our database. So when a user access the GUI, okay, it will display all the information. Okay, it display all the information from our database. Okay, so this is the overall data processing procedure for Campus Insight. Okay. So, okay, basically here is just saying that uh, now, okay, now, we're using telemetry so we can able to achieve real-time analysis. So as I mentioned before, in SNMP, our traditional network, we are not able to okay, achieve real-time monitoring. Okay, not able to achieve real-time because SNMP, we only collect data by period. For example, five minutes, 
10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. And SNMP is designed for limited processing capabilities and not able to support real-time management. And in SNMP, it uses fixed data structure. So if you want a lot of, if our NCE needs a lot of data, you will need to request multiple, multiple time just for getting all the required data. So it is not very efficient. So in our NC campus inside, okay, we use the telemetry technology. Okay, so basically this telemetry technology uses HTTP and portal buff. Portal buff, the full name is portal core buffer. Okay, so these are the full name, protocol buffer. So telemetry actually use this two protocol, this two protocol, okay, to proactively uh, collect the device reporting. Okay, so basically it will get all the data in real time. Real time. Okay, so it is this protocol is very efficient in encoding and decoding. Okay, and it enables us to obtain multiple data records at the same time and implementing second level data obtaining capabilities. Basically here, or here, is just saying that we are able to achieve real-time monitoring using telemetry. Okay, so next. Okay, so after finishing introducing the NCE campus and campus inside, now we will look into the solution that we have inside our cloud campus. Okay, 